And at this point, we're going to go to superintendent for the superintendent's report. Thank you, uh, Dr. Rodriguez. Just want to share with the community as as uh, we navigate the the COVID environment right now. Uh, a few weeks ago, things were looking uh, good in the district. Our COVID rates were going down, and then um, I believe it was Labor Day hit, and we're starting to get the data coming in as a result of that. So the the, the, the in various zip codes at various locations, the numbers are going up slightly. It, it is not taking us out of the purple. Uh, uh, category let yet, um, and so we will continue to monitor that. Um, there, we do have a lot of challenges as a district in relationship to uh, what is happening, and and in not only in the district of Santa Ana but in surrounding cities. And I just want to reassure one the public and let our our parents and know that the dates that we have identified are strictly tentative dates. Um, and they're meant to help us prepare uh, at the time for a downward trend. Um, but they're, they are always fluid. And so we're going to take the data that we get on a week-by-week -week basis. We were hoping to get out of the purple color and into the red category, which would allow us to open up. But as a result of the increase in COVID positive rates uh, the past couple of weeks, um, we're not able to do that. We remained in the purple, uh, color purple, which is one of the more, um, it, it's, it, it, it indicates that there is still community transmission uh, high in our areas in the zip codes. And um, the health ex experts are letting us know that we, we it's just not time to, to make that move uh, transition to hybrid just yet. But we're continually monitoring that. Um, our intent is to bring some of the healthcare, uh, county healthcare officials to a board meeting to share what this data means with, uh, means to our district. I know that there are people that want to get back. We want to get back just as bad as anybody else. The best place for our students is in the, in front, in the classrooms in, in front of our teachers. We just want to make sure that we do it safe not, for everybody. And so we will continue to monitor that. Um, and keep you updated um, as we get the information in from the county. I believe that is all I have for you today. Dr. Rodriguez, thank you very much.